A credit union is a member-owned financial cooperative democratically controlled by its members and operated for the purpose of promoting thrift, providing credit at competitive rates, and providing other financial services to its members. Many credit unions also provide services intended to support community development or sustainable international development on a local level. Worldwide, credit union systems vary significantly in terms of total system assets and average institution asset size, ranging from volunteer operations with a handful of members to institutions with assets worth several billion US dollars and hundreds of thousands of members. Credit unions operate alongside other mutual and or cooperative organizations engaging in cooperative banking, such as building societies. Differences from other financial institutions Credit unions differ from banks and other financial institutions in that those who have accounts in the credit union are its members and owners and they elect their board of directors in a one-person, one-vote system regardless of their amount invested. Credit unions see themselves as different from mainstream banks, with a mission to be community-oriented and serve people, not profit. Credit unions offer many of the same financial services as banks, but often using a different terminology. Common services include share accounts share draft accounts, credit cards, share term certificates, and online banking. Normally, only a member of a credit union may deposit or borrow money. Surveys of customers at banks and credit unions have consistently shown a significantly higher customer satisfaction rate with the quality of service at credit unions. Credit unions have historically claimed to provide superior member service and to be committed to helping members improve their financial situation. In the context of financial inclusion credit unions claim to provide a broader range of loan and savings products at a much cheaper cost to their members than do most microfinance institutions. Not-for-profit status in the credit union context, not-for-profit is not the same as for a non-profit, charity or similar organization. Credit unions are not-for-profit because their purpose is to serve their members rather than to maximize profits. But, unlike charities and the like, credit unions do not rely on donations and are financial institutions that must perforce make what is, in economic terms, a small profit to remain in existence. According to the World Council of Credit Unions, a credit union's revenues must exceed its operating expenses and dividends in order to maintain capital and solvency. F.W. Ray Fison, the founder of WOCCU, wrote in 1870 that credit unions are, according to paragraph 11 of the German Law of Cooperatives, merchants is defined by the Common Code of Commerce. They accordingly form a sort of commercial business enterprise of which the owners are the credit union's members. In the United States, credit unions incorporated and operating under a state credit union law are tax exempt under Section 501. Federal credit unions organized and operated in accordance with the Federal Credit Union Act are considered entities of the United States government. They are tax exempt under Section 501. Global Presence Based on data from the World Council, at the end of 2010 there were 52,945 credit unions in 100 countries around the world. Collectively they served 188 million members and oversaw $1.5 trillion in assets. The World Council does not include data from cooperative banks, so, for example, some countries generally seen as the pioneers of credit unionism, such as Germany, France, the Netherlands and Italy, are not always included in their data. The European Association of Cooperative Banks reported 38 million members in those four countries at the end of 2010. The countries with the most credit union activity are highly diverse. 
According to the World Council, the countries with the greatest number of credit union members were the United States, India, Canada, South Korea, Kenya and Brazil, Thailand, Australia 3.4 million, Ireland, and Mexico. The countries with the highest percentage of credit union members in the economically active population were Ireland, Barbados, St. Lucia, Belize, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago and Jamaica, Canada, Antigua and Barbuda, and the United States. Several African and Latin American countries also had high credit union membership rates, as did Australia. The average percentage for all countries considered in the report was 7.5%. Credit unions were launched in Poland in 1992. As of 2012, update, there were 2,000 credit union branches there with 2.2 million members. History Modern credit union history dates from 1852, when Franz Hermann Schultz of Delitzsch consolidated the learning from two pilot projects, one in Ellenburg and the other in Delitzsch in the Kingdom of Saxony into what are generally recognized as the first credit unions in the world. He went on to develop a highly successful urban credit union system. In 1864 Friedrich Wilhelm Raiffeisen founded the first rural credit union in Herdersdorf in Germany. By the time of Raiffeisen's death in 1888, credit unions had spread to Italy, France, the Netherlands, England, Austria, and other nations. The first credit union in North America, the Caisse Populaire de Rally Acute VIs in Quebec, Canada, began operations on January 23, 1901 with a 10-cent deposit. Founder Alphonse Desjardins, a reporter in the Canadian Parliament, was moved to take up his mission in 1897 when he learned of a Montrealer who had been ordered by the court to pay nearly C$5,000 in interest on the loan of $150 from a money lender. Drawing extensively on European precedents, Desjardins developed a unique parish-based model for Quebec. The Caisse Populaire, in the United States, St. Mary's Bank Credit Union of Manchester, New Hampshire was the first credit union. Assisted by a personal visit from Desjardins, St. Mary's was founded by French-speaking immigrants to Manchester from Quebec on November 24, 1908. America's Credit Union Museum now occupies the location of the home from which street. Mary's Bank Credit Union first operated. On November 1910 the Women's Educational and Industrial Union set up the Industrial Credit Union. Modeled on the Desjardins Credit Unions it was the first non-faith-based community credit union serving all people in the greater Boston area. The oldest statewide credit union in the U.S. was established in 1913. The Saint Mary's Credit Union serves any resident of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. After being promoted by the Catholic Church in the 1940s to assist the poor in Latin America, credit unions expanded rapidly during the 1950s and 1960s, especially in Bolivia, Costa Rica, the Dominican Republic, Honduras and Peru. The Regional Confederation of Latin American Credit Unions was formed and with funding by the Inter-American Development Bank credit unions in the regions grew rapidly throughout the 1970s and into the early 1980s. In 1988 Colac Credit Unions represented 4 million members across 17 countries with a loan portfolio of circa half a billion US dollars. However, from the late 1970s onwards many Latin American credit unions struggled with inflation, stagnating membership and serious loan recovery problems. In the 1980s donor agencies such as USAID attempted to rehabilitate Latin American credit unions by providing technical assistance and focusing credit unions' efforts on mobilizing deposits from the local population. In 1987 the regional financial crisis caused a run on credit unions. Significant withdrawals and high default rates caused liquidity problems for many credit unions in the region. Stability and Risks 
Credit unions must make enough surplus to cover expenses, otherwise, like any other business, they cannot continue. They can and do become insolvent and cease to exist. The effect on those with funds deposited varies between jurisdictions. Several factors combine to put credit unions at risk of failure. They may not be allowed to lend enough money to enough people who are willing and able to repay because of their rules on responsible lending. When debtors get into trouble, they will often repay liabilities such as payday loans with high interest rates first, leaving the credit unions until last and in some cases courts may, after ruling against debtors, leniently allow them to pay off their debts with very small payments, sometimes free of interest, over a long period. Corporate Credit Unions Credit unions as such provide service only to individual consumers. Corporate credit unions provide service to credit unions with operational support, funds clearing tasks, and product and service delivery leagues and associations. Credit unions often form cooperatives among themselves to provide services to members. A credit union service organization is generally a for-profit subsidiary of one or more credit unions formed for this purpose. For example, COOP Financial Services, the largest credit union-owned interbank network in the U.S., provides an ATM network and shared branching services to credit unions. Other examples of cooperatives among credit unions include credit counseling services as well as insurance and investment services. State credit union leagues can partner with outside organizations to promote initiatives for credit unions or customers. For example, the Indiana Credit Union League sponsors an initiative called Ignite, which is used to encourage innovation in the credit union industry, with the Filene Research Institute. The WCCU is both a trade association for credit unions worldwide and a development agency. The WOCCU's mission is to assist its members and potential members to organize, expand, improve and integrate credit unions and related institutions as effective instruments for the economic and social development of all people. Deposit Insurance In the United States, federal credit unions are chartered by and overseen by the National Credit Union Administration which also provides deposit insurance similar to the manner in which the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation provides deposit insurance to banks. State chartered credit unions are overseen by the state's financial regulation agency and may but are not required to obtain deposit insurance because of problems with bank failures in the past. No state provides deposit insurance and as such there are two primary sources for depository insurance, the NCUA and American Share Insurance. A private insurer based in Ohio, in Canada, for credit union savings in Ontario, you are covered for up to $100,000 on eligible deposits by the Deposit Insurance Corp. of Ontario.